Aha! Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Previously I covered what percentage strength was. Today I'm going to go over four examples to demonstrate how percentage strength is used in questions. So let's go into these questions. So question number one, ask, how many grams of NaCl sodium chloride are in 1000? So we have a 1000 of quarter normal saline. So number one things, what we need to know is, first of all, from yesterday's video, we know or we learned that one quarter of NS is basically, so let's go, what is NS first of all? First of all, NS is 0.9% normal saline, right? We said that, and we said one more thing, NS is weight in volume. So gram in ml. So weight is gram, V is volume, which is ml. So we know this is the normal saline and we're looking for a quarter of that. So what we said yesterday was we can divide this over four. So dividing this over four, it's going to be 0 0.225. And we know it's quarter, so this is, this is a percentage, okay? So if we were to convert this in a different way, it's going to be 0 0.9, we know it's weight, so gram over we, something we said to keep in mind, the denominator is always 100, so 100 and its volume, so ml. So we know this, right? So over here, since this is a quarter of normal saline, so we know it's going to be 0 0.225, gram over 100 ml. Okay, so we know this. So this is just from this part. So we got this, let's see, let's use another color. So this is just from this part over here, right? So the question is asking, how many grams are in 1000 milliliter? So we know there are 0 0.225 grams in 100 milliliter. Now we need to figure how many are in 1000. So if we know this, so what we can do is, let's uh, draw an arrow. So we know we have 0 0.225 gram over 100 ml. So we're gonna do, we have 1000 ml and we're looking for the grams in 1000 ml. So we do not know, so we're gonna just put it as an X. We do not know what that is. So that's what the question is asking. This is basically what the question is asking. What are the grams in 1000 milliliter? So to move from 100 milliliter, okay, to 1000 milliliter, Basically, this is a multiplication by 10. So if I were to multiply 100 by 10, that's 1000 ml. So I need to do the same thing over here and multiply this by 10 to have the answer of how many grams of NaCl are in 1000 ml. So 0 0.225, so let's, let's do it over here. So if I have 0 0.225 grams, multiplying by 10, this is going to be 2.25 grams. And that's the answer to this question. And this is basically X. So X is 2.25 gram. That's the answer down there. So that's question number one. Now, let's move into question number two. Question number two says, how many grams of dextrose are in 500 milliliter of D5Ws. So number one thinks, what is D5W? D5W is basically dextrose, 5% dextrose in water. And we know from previous lecture that dextrose is also weight in volume, which means basically that 
we have five. Weight is gram again. V is milliliter. So we have five grams of dextrose in 100 milliliter of water. That's basically what this is. Okay. So what's the question is asking? The question is asking how many grams of dextrose are in 500 milliliters? So we know there are five grams in 100 milliliter. So let's just do the same method we did over here, right? So let's take an arrow to make it clean. So we have five grams of dextrose and they are in 100 milliliter of water. Now the question is asking how many grams of dextrose are in 500? So if I were to place 500 milliliter, X is here. So basically what do we have in this case? In this case, what do we have? If we get to move from 100 to 500, so let's, let's do this. If I am moving from this area to this area, multiplying 100 to 500 to moving from this to this, I need to multiply it by five. So here we said multiplying by 10, here we're gonna multiply by five. So this is a multiplication by five over here. So if we know moving from this to here, we had to multiply by five. Therefore, moving from this area to this area, we need to do the same exact things, which is multiplying by five as well. So five by five, basically, so if we have five grams, and we know we need to multiply it by five as well, so this is going to be 25 grams. And this is basically the answer to this question. So, so X over here will be 25 grams. So these are the numbers of grams, okay, in 500 milliliter of D5W in this solution. Now, let's move into question number three. So question number three says, if 1,500 grams of product A, so we know we have a product A, so let's make it easier. So we know I have product A, so this is product A over here, okay? And we have in product A, 1,000, so this is filled, this is product A and it's filled with 1,500 1, grams of this product A. And product A, okay, this whole thing, so this is whole thing is product A, right? This whole thing is one, five, zero, zero grams. In product A, there is, product A contains 100 grams of drug B. So we have a drug B in product A, and it is 100 grams. So part of product A, there is 100 grams of drug B. The question is asking, what is the percent strength WW? Remember yesterday I said in questions usually, most of the time, they give you that. Except if it's normal saline or if it's D5W, and then this is something you do need to, to remember because it's always weight in volume. So you do always need to remember this because you may not see these in questions. So you do need to remember these two parts over here. Otherwise, usually if it's a, a product, if it's a medication that is not clear what it is, usually the question will give you that. So in this case, we have WW. So W, uh, weight in weight, which means it's grams in grams. So this is also grams as well, okay? So the question is as so we know there is 100 grams of drug B, so this is drug B, and this is all in 1,500 grams of product A. So this whole product contain 100 grams of drug B. Now the question is asking, what is the percent strength? So percent strength is always set to 100. If it's W weight, then it's going to be 100 grams. If it's volume, then it's gonna to need to be 100 milliliter. What do I mean by that? So, in this case, 
we need to set this up to 100. And we know it's weight, so it's going to be grams. So we need to find the percent strength. So we need to find the grams over here, okay, to find the answer. Basically, because they're asking for percent strength, it has to be percent-wise. So it's either going to be in this form or it's going to be in uh, a number. So a number over 100 and grams or milliliter, depending on the question. Here we have grams because it's weight. So remember, these are the two forms that I mentioned in the previous video. The question uh, will be asking for percent strength and this is how uh, the answer uh, should be given at the end. So it's either this, so this is number one, this is number two. So here we're looking for X. So moving from here, what do we need to do here? We can, there are two ways of doing this. If we have an easy number, it's basically we can cancel each out. What I, what I can say is uh, 1500 to 100, that's mean basically from here to here, we divide it by number 15. So division, this is not multiplying like these two questions, it's dividing. So dividing by 15 from here to here to get 100 grams, right? So here dividing 100 over 15 may not be easy. So the, and sometimes numbers are not that easy in the questions. So maybe sometimes using a calculator or actually most of the time using a calculator would be the best option. Not, not trying to figure things out just mentally like that. So let's cross and multiply. Another way of doing this would be crossing and multiplying. So if I were to cross and multiply these, so 100 grams times 100 grams. So this is basically, it's going to be 10,000 of drug B, right? So this is what I have. And then here it's going to be 1,500 grams times X. Okay, and we need to find what X is, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to divide both sides by 1500 exactly to have them cancels out and it's the same thing like I said earlier uh, we can divide uh, 100 by 15 but the reason I'm doing the cross multiplication it's because qu questions have numbers that are really not that easy as these I made the number for this video so easy so the understanding so you can understand the concept basically that's the point but usually in, in, if you're taking an exam in school or you're preparing for NAPLEX or whatever the situation is you're preparing for, usually the numbers are not that straightforward like these. So if we were to cancel things out here, we can cancel 1500 with 1500 and we can basically take these two zeros with two, these two zeros. So we have 100 over 15, just like I said early on. So. This one is leading to one hundred grams. So this is drug B over fifteen. Right? So we need to know the percent of strength. To do that, we need to divide one hundred over fifteen. So dividing one hundred over fifteen. It's going to be 6.67 grams. Actually, it's not going to be gram because we're looking for percentage. And in this case, because we have grams, I did not put the grams over here. Let me take this out. So let me correct this. One thing to do, I did not put the grams over here, grams over here. So the grams cancels each other out as well. And here we have also gram. So 6.67%. That's the answer over here. Okay, so this is the answer to the question. So now moving to question number four. Let's see what the question number four is, says. It says prescription says, so you do you have you're a pharmacist or you're an intern or a technician, you receive a prescription that says. Prepare 6% of product C, WW. So we know we have 6% of product C. So let's go, let's focus on this area first of all. So 6%, right? Okay, so 6%, that means when we have weight and weight, so remember weight and weight, grams and grams, right? 
So 6% means 6 grams over 100 grams, right? That's what we just learned from these examples and from the previous video. So we know this. This is where we have from this part over here. And this is product C. It says QS with water, complete with water, 200 grams. Okay, so we have this and we got to complete it to 200 grams. So to complete it to 200 grams, and then it says how many grams of water are needed to compound this prescription. So this is a little bit harder from all the previous questions. The reason why just to have the understand the concept in more in, in, in a different way, because Questions are not always as easy, as straightforward as these one, two, and three. So, number one step, we need to find out how many grams of product C are in 200 grams of water. That's number one step. So, let's find that out. So, we know there are six grams in 100, right? So, if I, if I were to have 200, grams so we know moving from just like we did here 100 to 200 is basically multiplication by 2 so multiplying 6 by 2 that's basically 12 grams okay so we have 12 grams of product C in 200 grams of water or the whole compound or medication so we know we have 12 grams right and the question is asking, so this is not that what the question is asking. And may, pay attention to such questions because these questions are using percentage strength components, but they're asking for something else. The question here is asking how many grams of water are needed to compound this prescription. So we know we have in 200 grams of this whole prescription, there are 12 grams, so here, we have 12 grams of product C. So this is product C. We know that, okay? So knowing this, what I need right now to do the second step. So this is step number one. Step number two is basically subtracting the total grams from the, the grams of product C. From there, after I subtract the total, because the total is basically water and compound C, so anything left after compound uh, product C, I mean, it's going to be water itself. And we can tell what the grams of water and the, uh, to answer this question. So we know there are total of 200, right? This whole prescription is total of 200 grams. We know that from the question. It says here, 200 grams. And we know there are also 12 grams of product C. So subtracting this, let me use another color here. Subtracting, okay, this from 12 grams of product C. So this is the 12 gram came in from product C. So what that equals is 188 grams. And that's the answer to this question. So there are 188 grams of water in this prescription. So this is it for this video. I really hope you, ha you have found this video very helpful. If you have any question, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.